Defense rests without calling former president to testify. Defense attorneys in New York Trump rested their case Tuesday morning without calling former President Trump to testify. The prosecution rested its case on Monday, and Trump's defense attorneys called two witnesses, paralegal Daniel Sitko and former legal advisor to Michael Cohen, Robert Castello, before concluding their case. Judge Juan Merchant dismissed the jury until after Memorial Day. On Tuesday, May 28 the jury will hear closing arguments from both Trump's defense attorneys and New York prosecutors. Jury deliberations are expected to begin either Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday following Memorial Day. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has charged former President Trump with 34 counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. Trump has pleaded not guilty to all counts. Judge threatens to mute Giuliani during arraignment in Arizona fake electors case. Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, several allies of former President Donald Trump, and alleged fake electors pleaded not guilty in Maricopa County Court Tuesday for their alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in Arizona. Former Trump lawyer Christina Bob, Arizona State Senator Anthony Kern, former Arizona Republican Party Chair Kelly Ward, and her husband Michael Ward were also arraigned today. Giuliani appeared virtually after being served notice of his indictment following his 80th birthday party on Friday night, despite previously boasting on social media about avoiding being served. The judge granted the prosecution's motion requiring Giuliani to show up in person in Arizona to be booked within 30 days. Additionally, Giuliani must post a $10,000 secured appearance bond after the state detailed how he has shown no intent to comply with legal process by initially avoiding the service of the indictment. Vince Fuang wins California special election to fill Kevin McCarthy's seat. California State Assemblyman Vince Fong has won the special election to complete the remainder of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy's, Republican California, term in the House, as reported by Decision Desk HQ. Fong triumphed over to Larry County Sheriff Mike Boudreau, Republican, in Tuesday's runoff election, following their emergence as the top two contenders in a March contest where neither secured more than 50% of the vote. While Fong will now serve out McCarthy's term, he and Boudreau will face each other again this November to vie for a full term representing California's 20th Congressional District, after both advanced from a regularly scheduled primary earlier this year. McCarthy announced his departure from the House following his historic removal from the Speakership. He endorsed Fuang to succeed him in the reliably red district, as did former President Trump. Tornado kills multiple people in Iowa as powerful storms deer through Midwest. Officials reported multiple fatalities on Tuesday after a tornado devastated the small town of Greenfield, Iowa, destroying homes and damaging businesses. Among the damaged buildings was Greenfield's hospital, necessitating the transfer of at least a dozen injured individuals to other hospitals, according to Iowa State Patrol Sergeant Alex Dinkla. Sadly we can confirm that there have been fatalities, Dinkla announced at a news conference Tuesday night. We're still counting at this time. He mentioned that while they believe all residents have been accounted for, Searches will continue if anyone is reported missing. The Adair County Health System posted on Facebook that it had established a triage center at Greenfield High School and advised those needing medical attention to go there. South Carolina Governor Signs Ban on Gender Affirming Medical Care for Minors South Carolina's Republican Governor signed a law on Tuesday banning gender-affirming medical care for minors in the state. Governor Henry McMaster announced the signing of H4624 on social media, stating that the measure protects our state's children from irreversible gender transition procedures and bans public funds from being used for them. With this law, South Carolina joins over 20 other states in restricting gender-affirming care for transgender minors. The measure passed earlier this month by a vote of 28 to 8 in the state Senate and 67 to 26 in the state House. The legislation, effective immediately, prohibits physicians from providing gender-affirming medical care to minors, including hormone treatments, puberty blockers and surgeries although surgical procedures are rarely performed on children. Major medical associations agree that such care is appropriate for gender dysphoria, the psychological distress experienced when a person's gender identity and sex assigned at birth do not align. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more news updates.